I welcome you to today's episode. In today's episode, I'm just going to walk you through the nitty gritty of how to download and install the Alipay account. But the main focus is to walk you through how to create a verified Alipay account. If, for instance, you are not having the Alipay on your smartphone and you are using an Android phone or uh, an iOS, which is iPhone, what you need to do is to go to your Apple Store and download the uh, Alipay. If you are using your Android, what you need to do is to go to your Play Store. Yes, I have done. And from the search bar, from the search bar, you have, you search for Alipay. So I click on it. Then I download the second one. You understand? You see the second one. So I download, I click on it to install. So I wait for it to download. So I'm demonstrating everything here practically. So we can see it downloading. Now that it is done downloading, what we need to do from here is to click on open. Or you can go to your uh, phone homepage and go and open it from there. Any either way, it works. So if it is your first time opening the Alipay, you'll be presented with this very interface. So from this interface, I click on agree in order to accept the privacy protection tips. So this is um, the interface for uh, the Alipay. So we need to create an Alipay account. In order to create a successful Alipay account, what we need to do from this very interface is we click on sign up. In order to uh, create a verified Alipay account, what we need to do from this very interface is to click on where we have the Chinese um, calling code or China calling code, the plus eight six. I click there and I look for Ghana because I live in Ghana. If you live in Nigeria or you live in any other country, then you need to select your country's um, calling code. So I input the number, her number, I should say, not mine. So in your case, you would have to input your number. Now, what you need to do after entering the number is to ensure the number is an active phone number that can receive calls or text messages. So from this very interface, I click on sign up now. I click on agree from this very interface a code will be sent to the very number you have used so the code that came i have to input it here but it says select country or region on your id card so let me select the country in which i live she she's a Ghanaian and she's having a Ghanaian passport so if you as i said earlier if you live in nigeria if you live in ghana if you live in any other country then do select the country in which you live in or you have its um traveling passport so i click on ghana so i click on next i click on Al while using the app so this um how to create a successful alipay account how do i know that i have created an alipay or a successful alipay account i come to this very interface where we are right now then i click on account so from account here, there are certain settings that we need to do. So what I need to do from here is to click on where we have the nickname and set. So I click there to go and do some settings, which I would also urge you to do the same thing when you are also creating um, the, 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 the account. So from here, I click on nickname. Then I input the name she would like to use, her name or her brand name or whatever name that she would like to put. Okay, so the next thing you can do is to click on photos and go and select in the set a profile picture for yourself. So the next thing we have to do from here is to go back from here, then click on settings at the very top where the arrow is pointing. It brings us to this very interface. These things that I'm sharing with you are very vital and must be taken keenly with all due respect. So from here, I go to account and security. Now from this very interface, we have login password so login password is when you are signing into the app which is different from payment password so i click on login password so from this very interface i click on change now so from here you need to enter at least eight characters and these eight characters should include some uh, capital letters some numbers some symbols or something that you will remember but it must be either eight characters or more than eight characters. So I enter the password, then I click on save. So it's a login password set successfully. 
Now that we are done creating a login password, what we need to do from this interface is to create a payment password. So uh, from this very interface, I click on payment settings and I wait for it to load. From this very interface, I click on the Chinese character on my right hand side, which I would urge you to also do save. So from this very interface, sometimes my screen might go blank, but what it basically means is to um, input the six digit payment password. So I am entering it, which would be different from yours. Yes, so that is your choice, but it must be a, a six digit number that you will always remember because without it, you can't make payments or you can't transfer money to any um, uh, supplier or a client of yours. So now that I have confirmed the number again, what I need to do from here is to click on next. So you say uh, password set successfully. So now I am done setting the password successfully, doing all the needed things. So you can see that from here we have the, the her name or her brand name. You can check her out on TikTok. Yeah. So she's one of the people under my mentorship. So you can check her out on TikTok. So from here, what we need to do is to create a verified Alipay account. So you can see that if you want to know that your Alipay is not verified, you can check membership. You see that there is no primary there. But when we, we are done creating a verified Alipay account, the membership will, will be having primary in front of membership. So in order to verify your Alipay account, what you need is a valid traveling passport. So what we need to do, I'm going to teach you the simplest way to verify the account because other, uh, my previous video that I have done, I've realized that a lot of you, you were finding it challenging to navigate the, um, the verification. What we need to do is to click on um, account, then go to balance. Then from this very interface, from this very interface, you click on go where it has circled successfully. From this interface, what we need to do from here is to, you have to ensure that the country slash region is selected to your country that you are from or the country that you have acquired the passport from. Then um, the document type, it has to be set to passport. So from here, what I need to do from here is to click on scan to fill in automatically. So from this interface, I click on uh, scan to fill in automatically. So I select, um, select from album, allow. So I select it from my list and I click on confirm. So the system will scan it and uh, input the needed details in there. So I'm doing everything so you can see everything here successfully. So everything has been set successfully. So we can see it. So what I need to do from here is to click on submit. So I click on submit. So from this interface, what I need to do from here is to click on upload passport and verify face. So I click here. So now, in this case, the, um, the passport is not mine. So meaning the owner of the passport must use his or her face to do the verification. And the owner is right by me. So I have to give the phone to her so she will do the selfie as it is demonstrated on the phone. So I click on verify now. I click enable while using the app. That's awesome. So the system has recognized the owner of um, the passport. In other ways, if for instance, um, the, the account is mine, you may ask, can you use a different person's uh, uh, passport to do that? Yes. But what it basically means is the owner of the passport must use his or her face to do the verification. So from this interface, we have occupation type. So from this interface, what I need to select from here is order, then address. I click there. So I go to location. I select the country. If you are in Nigeria, you select your country. Then detailed address. In here, you have to enter your house address or any recognized uh, residential address. So you just input it here. So in my case, for instance, I'm going to input um, her house address here. In your case, you have to do that. So I'm done. So what I need to do from here is to click on complete. Then I click on done. So everything is or has been successfully created. So I click on done from here at the very top. Let's go check if we will see primary 
in front of membership as i said earlier so let me go back so what do you see membership is having primary now so meaning your we have uh, created a verified alipay account you understand so in my next episode i'm going to demonstrate practically how to um link your verified alipay account to your system 88 mobile app so that you can um source procure and ship from um the system 88 mobile app so my dear uh, how did you find me i saw one of your videos on tiktok okay and how you helped a lady who was almost scammed 16k yeah how you helped her sell through so i decided to contact you since i needed help creating my alipay account mm -hmm. Yeah, I read commenting, it was impressive. So, so now if I will ask you, like, what you have watched and the comment you have read, is it true? Oh, yes, hmm? very uh, true. Yes, I see. Wow, so what handle do you use on social media so that I can also go and follow you? President Mami, President Mami on yes. TikTok. I see. Um, you see, I've consistently said this thing. It is awesome when you are the reason why people are happy. If you find value in this very episode, just check in the description of this very um, video for more details. If this has been very glorious to you or you're happy about it, let me know your experience as far as uh, importation business is con concerned. Let me know in the comment section. If you have any other question other than what you are watching, let me know in the comment section. You can follow Money Smart GH on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. And on every social media handle, by the grace of God, I am there. Yeah. So see you in my next episode.